and try and figure out what we would want to have if we were capable of thinking like a country. Because I actually think Canadians do that. I think we're capable of thinking about what's in the best interest of the greatest number of Canadians in most regions of Canada. How do we have a national strategy that looks after the people of Canada and helps our economy and keeps us prosperous while not, you know, killing us later? That, that's basically the kind of equation that I think a lot of people can resonate with that. So, if we were thinking like a country, one of the things we would imagine is that we want an energy strategy. We don't have one. We have no energy policy whatsoever in this country, which aligns with the fact that we don't have a climate policy either. We also don't have a transportation policy. I mean, the numbers of things we don't have policies. You can, you can fill in the blank with almost anything in a sentence that starts like this. Canada is the only country in the G8 without a blank policy. You can fill it in. Cultural policy, you know, housing policy, yes, yeah, shut up. You know, we don't have an energy policy, a transportation policy, we don't like policy. When you have policy, what happens is you can't get ad hocery and you can't get corporate rule. A policy is a very dangerous thing if you actually have evidence based decision making where you try to absorb all the evidence and then put in place a policy that will guide all three levels of government to pull in the same direction. Policy alignment, municipal, provincial, and federal, is the ideal where everybody agrees on a policy and then moves in that direction. So rather than, than rant about policy in the abstract, let's look at energy policy. Currently in Canada, we have what we're told is this, this um, well, Stephen Harper calls this, uh, it calls Canada of 2014, an energy superpower. We're told we're an energy superpower. 